My lab studies neural repair, brain repair, after stroke and in certain kinds of dementia like vascular dementia. Most people know that stroke is the leading cause of adult disability. We just don't get that much better from stroke. There's something about the brain that it doesn't repair and recover that well. And we're very interested in why that is. We're studying how the brain can form new connections after stroke and in dementia, how the support cells, the glia, respond to stroke and other injuries and how we might stimulate those for repair. It's important to focus on stroke as a progressive disease. I think most of us don't think about that, but patients are left with impairments in using their hand or in language, or even at a higher level, how they communicate with loved ones or interact with their community. And so that's our target. How can we develop drugs that repair the brain so that the longer term deficits, which are really limiting, can be treated? The outlook is really hopeful for this field of what we would call regenerative medicine. It's hopeful because many of the drugs and findings in labs have worked their way into clinical trials. So for example, some of the findings in my lab over the last 10 or 12 years have spawned two clinical trials and a third that's ongoing. Uh, we're particularly excited about the ongoing trial, which is a multi-center trial in Canada. And so it's, a, it's an active phase of what we might call late translation, where it's not simply great lab science, but we're moving to the clinic, we're testing in patient populations or ideas in our drugs. The work in my lab relates, as I mentioned, to regenerative medicine. It's a field we haven't had before. We've thought about how it degenerates in Alzheimer's disease and, or how it might have an acute injury like in stroke. We haven't thought about these later stages of repair and recovery. And I think that's one of the exciting things in our work and in other labs relating to this is it's a new field and it is sort of the next big thing as we uncover what will likely be new therapies in many different diseases.